Hello, hello, and welcome to my page. My name is Claudia Nari, and for those of y'all who just stumbled upon this page, on here, what we're gonna talk about is combining fragrances, be it if it's Bath and Body Works or it's fragrances in general. And um, for all the ones who have come back, you have returned. Today, we're going to talk about champagne and toast. Uh, champagne sparkles which is champagne and toast in my opinion with just a little added sweetness and we're going to talk about sunrise mimosa so what would I combine with these also on today is a chill day for me so I also want to talk about some of the fragrances that I wear to bed because I'm a person who wear fragrances period <laughs> to bed to a party to run to the store um, I love fragrances so if this is something that you're interested in then stay tuned okay here we go champagne and toast this one here you're going to get bubbling champagne you're going to sparkling berries and tangerine um, this fragrance to me is a fragrance that if you just like you want to chill like say you want to run to the store uh, you just want to smell clean fresh off the shower this is my go-to fragrance or body spray that I normally wear with this one uh, if I want to go out then I like to combine it with toy by Monticino this one here is such a good fragrance it's playful as you can see with the cap you know the cap is a teddy bear head so it's very playful and it can be worn w by any age group you know and a lot of people like to say oh that's just childlike but to me I wear it it smells great the notes in it is apple mandarin orange magnolia white currant peony and jasmine but to me when on my skin I get a lot of apple and orange and uh, here and there I kind of get some magnolia and uh, sweet currant but when you combine it with champagne toast then the tangerine and the sweet and the sparkling berries that's in here combines very well with this one uh, this is it's a really good scent um, this is one of the ones where I reach for fresh off the shower it gives you that clean uh, to me dub like smell you just smell clean just really pleasant um, these two in my opinion work great together so let's get into something if you're into champagne toast but you kind of want a little more sweetness then champagne sparkles was the one I think you should go with I will admit this one is hard to find now um, I don't, I'm not quite sure maybe in the community of people who love Bath and Body Works uh, people were not that fond of this one it came out I want to say about six months ago um, I enjoyed it um, hence why it's in my collection it gave me champagne toast so you got the bubbling uh, berries and cha sparkling champagne along with um, like a candy note almost like almost cake like I will say that um, it is it is cake like so this is one when I want to smell just sweet um, often there are fragrances where people just you just want to smell candy like with like a stronger fragrance uh, this one here is exactly what it says it's sparkling champagne it has the raspberry and rainbow sparkles I think the difference in this one is that ram that raspberry icing so that's that cake like scent right um, I, I enjoy it I will say that I truly do enjoy it but what I combine this one with is ooey gooey love by Lotus perfumery I want to get into this um, side note this fragrance house here is ran by two beautiful black women uh, and the the theory or the thought behind the line is it was to remind you of uh, african-american culture so on the site you'll get um, it's a selection for chocolate city um, they have options that goes into um, Chicago and all these various ones it is just absolutely amazing so if you, I'm going to put in the comments below the website of how to get to their line 
uh, it's just the fact that it's ran by two sisters and and the work is beautiful it does take a little while to get the fragrance I will admit because it is handmade they make it and then they send it out but to get back to what this video is about if you combine these two together it amps up that icing note so if you're a person who's looking for something that is sweet uh, but not too like headache inducing sweet but just sweet because the notes in this one is honey dates uh, vanilla sandalwood tonka bean uh, the top notes of it is bergamot and that bergamot pairs with the sparkling champagne so it, it they work together these are not exact dupes um, so I'm not saying that but I'm saying that if you had an opportunity to get your hands on champagne sparkle check out this line uh, ooey gooey love together with it is going to be great it is just the uh, it's the right level of sweetness um, the honey and the dates and the tonka bean is the combination is beautiful so if you can still find this one you can probably find on Amazon or on Macari try out this line and try out ooey gooey love and put them two together now I wanted to go into what other fragrances outside of those you know and there's other body sprays that I wear to bed but what other fragrance do I reach for all the time like I just it's on my counter in the bathroom what fragrances do I constantly reach for I can tell you the one I reach for often is Kenneth Cole's white Kenneth Cole's white is powdery is vanilla is amber is sweet let's see just so I can just so I can remind myself yeah it is actually gorgeous it has iris you know it's all the notes that I love so this one has vanilla amber musk plum freesia iris orchid lily of the valley mandarin orange but to me kenneth cole white comes off like zest <laughs> if you know anything about zest soap and you take a bath with zest soap it is is strong in the shower but then when you get out the shower dry yourself all um, i add this fragrance on it gives me that soapy clean freshness the whole night so if you're looking for a fragrance and you want to just say i want one that i can just smell clean with Kenneth Cole White would be the one I would tell you to go get. Another one that's on the same line. This is an oldie but goodie. Um, it's probably someone in your family who smells like this that you know. This was my first fragrance. The very first fragrance I ever bought. Um, I went to the Elizabeth Arden counter. I was 16 years old. I thought I was doing something. <laughs> and I bought True Love in every sense. I am so much older than 16 um then i make sure i keep this in my collection because it just is um nostalgic to me it just reminds me of my childhood and my first time like i, I wore this to the dance when i used to go to the dances right and it's just it was so clean it was so fresh and i would get compliments on it uh and you probably can get this fragrance out for almost probably like 12 dollars right now because no one is really checking for this one but true love true love is another one of those clean fresh out the shower this one reminds me of dove actually um it's just it's really just delicate and pretty it's not overbearing you can wear it to sleep when you get up the next morning uh often my husband tells me he can smell me he can smell me on a pillow he can smell me in the sheets um it's just good the notes that's in it is very similar to um to kenneth cole white uh it starts off with that apricot peach and green notes and then you get the iris the rose the oris root the helotrope the lily of the valley jasmine it says it has a dry down of sandalwood vanilla and amber but to me this fragrance is not it's, it, it's not sandalwood. I wouldn't I wouldn't give it sandalwood and amber. This fragrance is mostly powdery. I think it's that orris root. It is predominantly a powdery scent. Um, very similar to probably like a uh, a baby powder powder type scent. This is a really good one to me. Um, easy reach for me to wear to go to sleep. And now my last fragrance that I use to go to bed. I know 
probably everyone has talked about it, but I'm going to join the crowd. It is J-Lo Glow. This is another easy reach for me. And you can find this at any of the box stores for almost little to nothing. I will say since a lot of folks have been talking about it, the price of it has went up. Um, I tend to get mine mostly around holiday season. You'll always see some kind of gift set uh, for J-Lo Glow. If you haven't heard about this fragrance, this is um, the fragrance by Jennifer Lopez. It opens up with neroli, orange blossom, and grapefruit. And then the base of the fragrance is jasmine, rose, and tuberose. Um, it's not a but um, it's not a no, it's not a it's not a, I had to smell it to make sure before I made that statement. It's not that bubblegum tuberose. It's just like a to me tuberose is in the background. Uh, it is musky, so it does have a must scent. It has orris root, has vanilla. Um, it's not too overbearing that you can't sleep in it. Uh, some people, this is their signature scent. Um, as you see, I have tons of fragrances, so uh, it's not my signature scent. I don't think I even have one. Uh, but it is a scent that I do like to wear to bed. It just smells clean. It smells good. It smells fresh. It smells um, just delicate. This is a robe. Like, you spray this on, put on a robe, and kind of just get cozy, maybe watch you um, a little TV before you wind down for the night. Your body temperature would elevate this fragrance up and you just smell good. You smell approachable. And um, I think sometimes uh, when people are just looking for a fragrance that they can wear that's approachable, it's not overbearing, it's not clawing, it's, it's not making a, a statement, it's just saying clean. J-Lo Glow would be the one I would say go get. Plus, it's very affordable. If this is the type of video that you would love to see or you wanna hear more about it, then in the comments, talk about your bedtime sense. What is your easy reach? Today was a very chill day for me, so I made the decision that I wanted to kinda of talk about body sprays and combinations and fragrances that I like to wear to bed or just when I want to relax. I'm not really doing too much, but I still wanna smell great. I appreciate you coming by the channel. Uh, look for another video. I'm trying my hardest to keep up with the Tuesday um, posting. I have been enjoying this. I hope you have been too. Thank you so much. I'm going to see you on the next video.